expert. Okay, nobody in the fitness group has thought this, but a, a couple of people in the Nordic walking group did, because I've started sending them the daily songs since Christmas, because they like them. But they thought today's Dire Straits one, Scotland was thought it was a war song. It, it's not, if you listen to the words, it's a, it, well, listen to the words, guys, it's not a war song, it's, it's about, about brother norms, you know, and, and help good people helping people. And that, that's what the song's about, okay? It's not a war song. Okay, good stuff. Look, let's mute you down. Let's get the beams ready. So remember on the me med, you don't have to at the end. You haven't even got to do the three in a minute, whatever it is we do, relaxing. But I'll get you down in that position. And then I will text to say that's your three minutes. Have the phone right next to your ear in case you fall asleep. There. Just get it moving. There we go. Okay, and you haven't got to play that song. You'll put your own or none at all. You might want it nice and quiet. So feet, either side of the beam. Hello, Viv, we got you in. Oh, yeah. Feet either side of the beam. Let's just gently start rocking and rolling that backwards and forwards, guys. We're going we're gonna to build up some body heat. I'm well aware that people, okay, the way it's, it's quite natural now, isn't it? Everybody's turning everything down because the prices are going, they're just going ridiculous, isn't it? And, and words, words, adult words more than that, okay? Hips forward, butt out to the rear. Hips forward, butt out. Relax it down. Remember, if we stay relaxed, you stay warmer. When we tense up, not only you burn energy, you're closing down the cells and you're closing down where the, the tissues get their blood supply from. So the, the more relaxed we are, the warmer we feel. I know it's a bit of a, a bit of a hard thing to think, how can I stay relaxed when if we are a bit cold? Rolling forwards onto the rear, guys. Rolling forwards into the rear, and above all, stay and trying to stay mentally relaxed at the same time. And in the case of the Double Boys Fit family, Trumpton's just come in. Do what we've been doing for the past couple of years and staying on that focus bit, guys. All right. Hips forward, butt out to the rear. Let's start bending it further forward, sticking the bum further out. Nicely controlled, toes coming upwards. There. Good. Oh, we go, guys. So we've got. Three or four regulars missing who are here every single beam largest one, but it just so happens they all got to do a way to do so. So we've missed you all, guys. Glad, glad you've clicked on for your press and play. So I've done that little bit. Bend it forwards, guys. Keep it going. Let's keep this bend going forwards. Getting a st stretch of those hamstrings, the big muscles in the legs. That's going to build up the body heat. We build up heat, we burn calories, and that's what we want to do. Now I'm going to start slowly straightening up. I'll do one. And the two, and on my third one, I'm back to rolling those feet forwards again, nicely under control. Good. Let's get the hands, back of the hands facing me, shoulder height to the front and gently to the rear. And I'm glad it's been lattice because the arms going nice and slow, the cold air comes up with the arms a little bit slower. Shoulder height to the front. Push the hands to the rear as far as you can. There. And if you've been doing stuff like what I was doing yesterday, you've got the pecs, you can feel it in there, but just shows it's nice. Sometimes it's nice doing an exercise one day. So the next two days, if you get a bit of the DOMS, it makes you realize the muscles that are working in your body and that you're doing effective workouts, but we don't have to have the DOMS all the time. Take those hands further back now and bend forward from the hips. And if you're pushing rocks up into the air, there we go. Somebody's having problems with this. Oh, it just disappeared. We're back in a second. Good. Keep that going, guys. There. Now we're going to switch it to the other side and straight for hands to a W. Put it there. There. Breaking this down. Slowly opening up the thumb and the little finger, getting the hand span going. Good. Now focus on rolling the feet further forwards on that curve. There. And now A4 pay between the scapula and we pull the hands back. And doesn't that feel good? We're starting to get blood flowing through the body. Keep that going. Keep it going. I just click Nicola back in. Good. There we go. From there, guys, I get in with Tracy. Good stuff. Nice long arms now. Taking it up towards the ceiling. And again, just relaxed at first. Got you back in, Nicola. Just missed the W in the hand position. That's all. Okay, let's break this down. Let's curve those feet now. More cradle, rocking chairs on the bottom of our bodies, rolling it forwards, slowly taking those fingertips up 
towards the ceiling. Good, I'll adjust my camera a little bit in a second. Good, okay for now. Keep taking it up. Reach up, sit. Now bring the elbows in very slightly. In very slightly. Good, there. You know what's that? I've got a remote control camera. Oh my God, point the elbows in. Fantastic, guys. Really working that one. Bring them back down to shoulder height. There. Good stuff. And now, there's two for the price of one. And it's about now, you know, the first five to seven minutes into a class, because let's be honest, whenever we go to a workout, do we always feel like getting there? Or, no, we don't, right? Let's be honest, let's be human, not machines. We don't, but we get in and we think, no, I'm going to go and do this. I know how good it is for me. And then it's the first five, seven minutes, the brain says, you know what? I'm glad I started today. Glad I came along to do this. Good. Gentle pause and hold to the beginning, guys. There. That gentle split second. Nobody could see it, but we can feel it. We're coming for a stop in three and two. And a warm pause. Shake the hands out. Shake the feet out. Good. Nice and gentle. Let's get our breaths in, and that's going to get the mental focus in. Good S shape of that spine, capital P for posture. Take the hands up and out. Turn them up. Straight away this session, though, rotate those hands to the rear. Open up the little finger and the thumb. We want to be feeling that right down the length of the arm. It's not like we're trying to unscrew the arm out of the socket, if you like. Keep rotating it to the rear. It's putting a different type of stretch into the rotator but it goes down the back, down the spinal column, into the chest. Now the breath in, and the exhale down to the heart. Elbows nice and low, capital P posture again. Squish the hands out, reach for the walls, reaching out, 15. So last week we were 15 minus, weren't we? Just easing it off. This week, 15s, reach for the wall, rotate the hands backwards, big breath in, big long arc, as long as you can get, feel that stretch right down through the body, exhale down to the heart, elbows low again. Thumbs resting above the sternum, People say above the heart, we know the heart's to one side, but we know what we're talking about. Squish those hands out, reach for the walls. You know what's coming next, rotate them back, big breath in. Exhale down and the elbows are gonna be parallel or high. And it's a three second isometric push in, go. Two, three, and arc those hands down, give them a nice gentle shake out, guys. Rub the back of the wrists. Let's do a few more isometrics. We missed it for the past few sessions, haven't we? Using more of the to warm. I like getting the rib cage up and going, guys. Fingertips together. Let's do our fingertips today. Then I can say my sentence early, daily, cheese wedge shapes. Three seconds pushing in, go. There. I'm doing 100% straight away, guys. Really pushing it in. Relax it down. Shake the hands out. Rotate the shoulders. Wiggle the head about a little bit. Take the hands down to the side. Spide the legs into the side. There. No stories about Bob. People want to repair Bob anymore with showing off their five bruises in their legs. It's a secret club. Okay, push it in three seconds. Go in one and two and three and relax it down. You've got to be very careful in Cornwall talking about secret clubs on Bob anymore because people take you serious and they all go wandering around at night time with torches. Okay, <laughs> take the hands up above the head. Fingertips there. I even make myself laugh sometimes. Pushing those fingertips in, guys. Relaxed elbows go two and three, and then arc that nicely down. Keep the hands palm shaped to here and take that round left and right. So we're not doing the finger pointing three times either side. Your feet are parallel with the beam, insteps are touching the beam. You guys on the tape have got your feet about six to eight inches apart, about eight inches close to bed and six. But just you take, keep the feet nice and flat. You can let the body weight gently go to the insteps and the outstep. Now just gently start pushing it around a little bit further. As if we were on the number three, if you like. So we've done a lot more, haven't we? Why are we doing more? Because it's colder, all right? Rotating it around. It's a bit different, isn't it? Let's get the spine mobilized and turn it into an exercise at the same time. Last one that side, last one that side. Arcing my hands down to there, holding the thumb, and then rotating the shoulders around. And there you go. I get the tingly feeling down the spine. So I'm happy with that one. Hands to the thighs, one bicycle chain only. Breathe in. Exhale, chin to the chest, slowly coming down, guys. Good. 
We're not opening with a three-step beam walk. We're going to do a static. We haven't done the following sequence fully for quite a long time. Middle fingers in front of the toes, pause, hold. Do not worry about the knees bending. I am frothing at the mouth already. It's going to be a great session. Breathe in, exhale, and slowly reset. Up we come. All the way. Think in good posture. Fantastic. Gently shake it out. Get your little sip of gin and tonic, whatever it is you're drinking right now. Okay. <laughs> if anybody's watching this on YouTube in years to come, that was a joke. We do not drink gin and tonic, all right? So remember, this could be 50 years from the future. Someone's thinking, what were they doing during those times? Look at them. Look at the clothes they're wearing, all right? Yes, and remember, in the days, if you are 50 years down there, okay, they still had pirates. And so we've got pirates in, as you can see, okay? There we go. All right. Foot nice and straight on the beam, guys. Other foot, the toe, level with the heel. We haven't done this one this year. Believe it or not, not all the way through, not how we're going to do it right now. We're starting off, robot arms. We just dip down and back. So there. Remember yesterday, we did the one, we did, we did a similar thing, didn't we? I forget what Adela called it. She gave it a good name, the swan, whatever it was, right, going down with the arms at the same time. And the guys on the beam who do regular, look, you were showing off. I could tell by the looks on your little smart faces, looking good. Because we do this one, going on the move, going to take the hands up and out. And there, pushing the foam pillars down. Good. We're going to get a little bit deeper. That's why on this one, I've never seen people get deeper. It's going to happen naturally, guys. Swan wings, down we go, and back. And that is where we feel really good. You know why? Because you're looking fantastic. Arcs, circles, gracefulness, powerful posture poise. Two left. There's one, and back. And two, and back. Pause, hold. Let's put a rotation in. Round we go to your left. For two, count. Oh, breathe. Exhale, all oh, for that stretch down the side there. Squish it out. It's back round to me, but we're going to rotate the other way as well this today. Here we go. Round we go. Turn the hands up and breathe. Feel a little bit of a wobble there, a little bit of imbalance. Exhale down. That means the core is going to work super strong to engage. There we go. Now arc those hands down. Hold the thumb, rotate around. We're going to swap the feet over, guys. Not going to stay on the same side, all right? Because this is a big, big session to open with. And I wouldn't do, if we had two or three brand new people in, I wouldn't do this not fully how we're doing it today, all right? So this is your fault for being so good at what you do. All right, toes level with that heel. Think it through, more or less the same. We just dip that down to there and back, down and back. Beam with artist speed. We know how massive and powerful it is because we know this, this routine, the sequence is going to build and build as we go through. We've just got to turn into that machine near the end. Right now, it's focus. It's a full body exercise. We get a stretch, a mobilization, the breathing, the whole Monty, if you like, there. Okay, here we go. Hands coming up and out, and we're pushing those imaginary foam pillars into the ground, looking good. Let's bring the swan wings in a bit earlier this side. Here we go, down and back. Now on the first movement, my fingers are nowhere near the beam. There, I'm trying to get it closer. I'm not gonna force it. I'm trying to bring the arms down, relax a little bit at the same time. Let the elasticity increase. I just touched the beam on that one. It just so happens we're coming for a pause in two. Next one, and there, pause, hold, turn up and breathe. Exhale down to the heart, squishing those hands out. Rotate round to your left first. Round we go for two. Turn the hands up again and breathe. Lots of Pilates style. Exhale down, squish, breathe in, rotate round, but go all the way the other way. And lots of mobilization, you're getting that spine working. Turn up, breathe in. I'm glowing already. Exhale down to the heart, squish it out. Then all the way back around. Then arc it down. We take the feet away. Gently shake it out, guys. No rush, okay? It does, we could come on down to the beam and do a, do a sequence, break it down, beam artist style, and take the full 40 minutes of the class, guys. We're still going to get that big, big workout. Okay, putting the right foot back onto the beam. I'm feeling for the warm patch. I've got it. Good. Let's bring that foot, most difficult one, heel to the front. In step just alongside that beam. 
Now, as soon as you guys on the beam, as soon as you step forward, you feel that imbalance because the body's getting ready to sprint forward, to move. We've got to keep that balance there, okay? Right. No heel raise. Here we go. Dip it down and back. There. And this is the one where that heel on the beam, although you guys on the tape, you have no different, that heel to the rear, it wants to lift upwards. Don't let it happen. Even if you're thinking, well, last time I did this, I got a lot deeper and the heel didn't want to move, but today it does. These things happen, guys. The body is, is different to each day when we do our exercises, okay? Dip it down. Hands up and out. Excuse me. That was a banana and half a pint of milk. For the lid. Dipping it down, guys. Good. There. Good. My imaginary form is pink. No, it's not. It's yellow and blue. Get where I'm coming from. Here we go for swan wings. Down we go. There. And back. And maintain that white to the eye. Now, this is where we can start to feel those muscles working super hard. We're coming for a pause. In two. Next one. Down we go. We're there and hold. Turn up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Squish those hands out. Rotate around, guys. Going to my right for two. Turn the hands up and breathe. Exhaling down again. Feel a difference in the stretch when we inhale. Rift those arms up. Round the other way. Rift is Chinese for lift. Did you notice I'm doing the language? Turn your hands up again, breathe in. That's the one. Oh, exhale down. Squish the hands out. Then back round to me and arc the hands down. Step away. Shake it out. So it's building. You can feel. So we're, we're rotating around where the body doesn't want to go. One foot's higher than the other. It, the, the wrong foot to step forward for us to turn that way anyway. But with something we're putting, we do that sort of stuff. So our everyday movement is all top notch, guys. Muscle memory. All right. Putting the other foot back onto the beam. Straight for the warm patch. Stepping forwards. Getting it in line. The feeling. Think the exercise through because more or less the same every single side. Here we go. Dip it down and back. There and back. Now, return of circulation, guys. And if it is a bit cold, you're going to get the heat and turn dense, cold that side, you've been out. This is working the big muscles. We can feel ourselves getting nice and glowy and warm, can't we? But the fingers are thinking, hold on, we're not. What you can do is, is just keep opening and closing that grip as you dip down. It does work, okay? Here we go. Take the hands up and out. Foam pillars, yellow and blue, and you've all got yellow and blue as well. Good stuff. Dipping it down. There. So I'm thinking of pushing that foam down. That gets me deeper. Gets the butt down deeper. Swan wings. Here we go. Three of these. There's one. And back. Fantastic. And two. Looking good there. And last one. Down we go. There's three. Turn up breathing. The rotations are coming up. We know how awkward they feel. Exhale down. Squish it out. Around to my left for two. Turn up again. Breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Squishing them out. It's back round to me, but all the way around the other side. All the way around and turn up, breathe in. Remember, we're not going to get a full rotation on one side like the other. Exhale down, squish it back out. Rotate round and then arc those hands down. Step away, shake it out. You notice when you finish that off, the respiration rate's up, the heart rate's nicely up. Good habits from the back of the hands. Keep wiggling those fingers. Last one either side. These are pretty easy ones, aren't they? All right? Okay. Left foot, sorry, right foot to the beam. And the feet are now alongside each other. Okay, so on the tape, it's on the instep, on the beam on the instep, on the tape, your feet are about four inches apart, but nice and very narrow, narrow railway lines. Dip there and back. Now, doesn't that feel so natural, guys? When we bend down to pick thumbs up, this is what you think you want the feet to be. However, it doesn't work that way. Remember the most, the biggest contributing factor of death in adults around the world is loss of balance. Is when they step forward to pick something up and the feet aren't in the right position. On the move, hands up and out. And this exercise for us is putting muscle memory in there, is putting their feet in totally the wrong positions. And therefore, our little nervous system, being controlled by our brain, knows what we want to do. Here we go. It's swan wings, five of these. Then we're going back there. Imagine to imagine to touch the beam from the very first one back. And doesn't this feel good? There. The body feels nice and it's like a yes, I can do this one. One more, here we go. I can do it, but look fantastic at the same time. Pause and hold, turn the hands up and breathe. Exhaling down to the heart, squishing those hands out. Rotate round to your right first. Round we go. Turn the hands up, breathe. 
Exhale down, or if you like in the waistline, squish it out all the way back around the other way. Lots of rotations today and breaths, breathe in. Exhaling down, squishing the hands out, bringing it back around to me, and then arc them nicely down, step away, and give it a shake. Give it a shake, get, hold your own breath if you want to, release it back, get, hold the thumb, rotate the shoulders, your own little, and I see the screen, I watch little, and we start and get the own little good habits going, guys, looking good. Left foot to the beam. When we first started, everybody on the screen copied everything I did. That's what, that's what they did. And there's no, now everybody's relaxed. We finish a movement, people are doing this and the other and the other and everything. Tracy leaps away and grabs a mop and quickly does a floor in the kitchen and comes back in again. All that sort of stuff, all right? So I step alongside the beam. <clears throat> Nicola goes and puts another top on. <laughs> We're ready. Dipping it down, guys, fantastic there. Ears, shoulders, hips nicely aligned. Nice movement. Every movement, in fact, the next movement is better than the previous one. That's what we've got to aim for, keeping that focus. Look how low down you're now getting your butt. Look how damn stable you are, guys. How we've got nice straight line, speed and power and energy working from the center of the beam. On the move, hands coming up and out. And it is the yellow and blue imaginary form pillars being pushed into the floor. Look at the extra depth you've got. And everyone's got nice whites to the eyes. That's fantastic posture. It's a big, big calorie burn exercise. It's swan wings five times. Down we go one and back. We know it's the last one, but we're not going to speed it up. We keep control all the way through. We make this the best one. We show off on this one. The chest coming up. Bears the ship at the ocean. Last one taking it down. And we come back to there. Brilliant, turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, squish those hands out and rotate round. Turn the hands up, breathe in again. Exhale down, squish back to me and all the way around the other way. Good, turn the hands up, breathe in again. Exhale down to the heart, squishing it out. It's all the way back round. We're gonna arc them down, guys. Give it a nice shake out. That's a clap from me, because that was a special little performance, guys. Well done. Good. The cozy classes recently are being perfect. But in the future, I get people asking me, what is this? What is that? These are the ones I pick out and I send them links and say, this is what we do in the class. All right. So well done for that one. Let's put together another sequence. It's one of my all time favorites, guys. Let's get onto the beam. We're not going to get our eye in first. All right. We're going to build up the sequence. It's the half swan to the full swan, and it's just normal stepping, no knee highs in intended. First off, relax. Three steps. Here we go. One, two, three, and return. Three, two, one. Let's pause there. Take the hands up. Let's look good. Turn the hands up. Breathe in. So I forgot to say, you've probably done it anyway. My right foot is to the front. Arc those hands nicely down. Three steps. Let's get the sequence going. And one, rolling the foot forward, heel toe, heel toe there, and to the rear. Three and two and a one. And again, one and two and three and back. My beam feels about six foot wide today. I don't know why. I had a good day for a change. Take the hands up and out, turn them up and breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, bringing those arms out, crucifix or T shape. It's a half swan to the front, guys. One, two, three, and down we go. And don't worry, we're getting a bit of a wobble. Doesn't matter, guys. Your core will engage. The main focus is no hangovers, and that is a good thing. Keeps the core working. Rotate round. Turn the hands up and breathe. So that's the reason why we want to walk on the beam with no hangovers. It makes your core work harder. Here we go. Three, and two, and one, and arcing it down. This is the focus bit, guys, to there. Because sometimes I'm being large, we only do three of these and we move on again. We're doing a few more of this sequence. Rotate round, turn the hands up and breathe. So it opened with two big sequences. We haven't done the first one for ages and we haven't done two sequences like this starting off straight away ever, the first time there. But both of these are working right through the body, encompassing everything about working on the beam. When we very first started on the beam, just follow me along as I'm talking, rotate, hands up, breathe. All these were done as different exercises. And over the first few months, we joined them all together and made our, our routines, one and two and three. And now 
we have normal routine straight away. The odd time we break them down into individual exercises. There, and there, and back. One more half swan. Rotate around, turn them up and breathe. Exhale down to the heart, squish it. Round we go. I can now feel the upper body working hard. There, there, and done. But this is where I want to focus. This is where I'm thinking, no, I don't want to go between a slice of cake. Put your hand down, Viv. There. <laughs> and back. Rotate round. Turn hands up, breathe. Looking fantastic. Exhale it down. Squish it out. Round to me. Can we keep going? Yes. Turn the hands up. Relax, tall tower. Three step more than walk. Lead with the hip, guys. Nice and tall. Bows of a ship at the ocean. Arc it down right to the eyes. Touch and back. Gracefulness. And I know I've said this a lot, but you guys who do regular beam alarms, I see the difference on beam fit on a Friday. Trust me. Rotate round. Turn up and breathe. Because the elegance, the posture, and the poise feeds through to the faster moves. Turn the hands up, guys. There. And off we go. Three and two and one and down we go there fantastic and back up nice and tall good and going backwards you ask if you ever meet diane and or wayne ask them about the football team that came into a beam fit class here we go breathe in exhale down they sound like they had pit boots on and that's not an exaggeration here we go guys so there this is posture and poise it's elegance we'll do two more of these that was going to be the last one but you know what you're looking so good. I want to watch you all again. There we go. Hands above the head. Back of the beam for three and two. And roll in the feet. Good concentration all the way. Rotate round, turn the hands up, breathe. We're going to do the show off one next. Hands to the sternum. Squish them out. Round we go. Arcs and circles up. Looking fantastic. Leave the hips. Reset one, walks one. Two, three. Arc. Head. Good. Great posture. And all together, I'm going backwards. Three and two and a one. It's arms, rotate round, turn up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, squish, bring it back round to me. Arc them down, guys, hold the thumb. Rotate forward to the front, then to the rear. And then step away. Quick shake out before we swap over. And if anybody ever says to you about, oh, Pilates, beam lot, oh, it's... Where I like doing this, I like running for 15 miles as hard. You, you know how much you can feel, how much hard work it is that you're doing right now, and you're getting that full body thing, okay? All right, let's get back to the beat. So the right foot over the back, bring that heel forwards. Here we go, three steps. We know step one side is different to the other. We've got to get our eye in, it's like the first movement, got to get it in quick, because we're stepping straight off with the hands up and out to the half swan for three and two and one and down we go there oh that's my left knee clicking out and going backwards toe heel toe heel toe heel rotate round we go turn the hands up and breathe exhale down to the heart squishing them out it's back round to me and the same again guys off we go for three this is where you've now got to get that mental focus in We've done a fantastic piece on the other side. We've swapped over. So halfway through this side, in about a minute and a half time, the brain's going to think two thirds done. Let's switch off, rotate round, turn up and breathe. So we've got to focus on the no hangovers, the body movement, the elegance, the looking fantastic. And the it's showing off a bit, guys. One and two and three. And you can all do that. You know why? Because you are all really good on the beam. There, going backwards for one and two, and three. One more half swan, rotate, turn the hands up, breathe. Exhale down, squish it out, back round to me, then off we go. The habit I've got, what happens is, I start thinking about the next exercise, and down we go. I always start getting a bit wobbly two thirds of the way through a previous one. There, I'm going backwards for one, and two, and three. Don't rotate, turn the hands up, breathe. Exhale down to the heart, squish them out. Can we? Yes, we can. Turn the hands up. There. Bob the built this in as well as Trumpton Fire Station. Off we go, guys. Lead with the hip. Keep the focus. Keep that straight line. Arc it down wide so the eyes look fantastic. All the things were going on. Spatial awareness, walking backwards on the beam, core fully engaged. There. Posture poise, rotation, spinal strength and immobilization. Breathing in, big full body stretch, lungs working, exhaling down, focus, concentration, 
unwinding back towards me. Then the moves looking elegant. Then off we go for the balance, engagement of the core, alignment of the spine. And there's the move, down we go. And nice and tall again. And that's what we're talking about, brilliant. Two more of those, two and three. And there, rotate. Turn the handle, breathe. Exhale down, squish, round to me, turn the hands up, nice and tall, off we go for one, and two, and three, and there. If you notice, when I say we're doing two left, that refocus comes straight back in, doesn't it? Back of the beam one, and two, and three, looking good. There, not looking good, fantastic, rotate. Hands up, prepare for the last one of these, two sequences done, exhale down, squish it out, Back round to me, and off we go with a tall tower, guys. Three-step model walk, two and three, and all the way down. One more sequence, three sequences. There, up we come. Back of the beam for one, and two, and three. It's there, it's that rotation. It's that feeling fantastic as we breathe in, we exhale down, we squish it out. It comes back round to me. Now we arc them down and shake. Guys, you all stuck with me on that. Every single, nobody dropped off. It was the same movement, same height, same everything. Anybody on press and play, and loads of few of you, watch anybody on the screen there, guys. Looking fantastic. One more sequence. Let's get a hat trick in, shall we? Here we go. Think flying angels. Think hands on the sternum, guys. All right? We're going to dip down five times. We're not going to stay down there on the fifth yet. All I want you to do is focus on getting that back knee onto your beam. So I haven't got to do the first time. If it does, great. Because we'll do five, then we'll come back and go down on a separate one. So hands to here. So step forward. Here we go. Pointy fingers out. It's there and down. Then back. Same speed back up. Brilliant. We did this last week and it looked as good as what it does now already. There we go. There. And bringing it back up. Three sequences, guys. Got a hat trick going on. And there we go again, there. We're finishing, so we're getting a nice big stretch at the same time, it's there, done. Getting the lungs working, getting the spinal column done. One more after this. So I had a bit of a wobble there, it happens. Well, that means the core's gonna fire up and hold us on that beam. There, full recover to here. Fantastic, squish the hands out, turn them up, breathe in. Look good, nice and tall. That's it, elegance, exhale down, and strength. And arc it nicely down, guys, give it a shake. Swap the feet over. Okay, so see what we're doing? Doing the five either side before we do the nice big one to finish off with. Just, just my watch, but I'll lose it. Okay, hands are stirring. Five, this side, just the same. Different foot coming out, though, remember? So we've got to just focus. Two, three, off we go. Out and dip and back. So our first one, my knee just misses the beam. Out we go there. For those of you with hairy knees like me, and back. Are you people who do not live in Cornwall? Off we go again. You can feel the hair touch the knee. The, knee. the hair and the knee touch the beam. Up we come, guys, there. Two left, and here we go. Long fingers coming out, arcs and circles, chest coming forward, fantastic. Right to the eyes, there. For those of you who have got me on the big screen, you see I open my eyes wide sometimes, just to scare the kids if they're looking. We're going to return, guys, and pause. It's there. Done. Squish. Breathe. Tall. Exhale. Arc it down, step away, there. All left either side, we're gonna go down, we're gonna do looking over the cliff. Get way over the cliff today. You can do this one, guys, because you're all, the bars on my roof, if I, as I say, you've all done that today. Here we go. So, on this last one, will you step out even further? Who knows? It's up to you. Hands to the stern, we'll go straight down to one knee. Think it through, two, and the one. Fingers come out, and it's there. Good. Turn the hands up, breathe. Exhale to the heart. Fantastic. Squish. Now the rotation. Round we go. For a count of two. When you get to your two, that's good. That's far enough. That's all okay. Bring it back round towards me. Good. Hands coming onto the knee. Fantastic. Back knee nice and straight. Looking over the beam. Then squish those hands out to the side. Curve them upwards. Elegance, arc, circles. Hold it for three and two and the one. Lower the back knee back down again. Hands to the knee. Looking fantastic. 
nice and straight there. Squish the hands out, recover. One, two, three, up and come, and I'm there. Salt the feet over, guys. Here we go. Good. Oh, do, are your legs feeling a bit empty and a bit hot, a bit tired? Why not? Good grief. No tug. We're all fine. <laughs> okay. Hands, hands to here. Same this side. No differences. Think. Go. Out. There. That's a clap from me. Well done. Turn the hands up. Breathe. Exhale down. Squish. Rotate. Brilliant. Background to me. Keep the hands there this time. Here we go. Up on the knee. Straight leg. Look over the cliff. Turn the hands upwards. Elegance, arcs and circles looking good. Lower the back knee back down. And from there, it's recovery. One, two, three. Up we come. There, control. Brilliant. Feet either side of the beam, guys. It's lie down time. Let's have a little lie down. Okay. I've just got to... Do that. Good. So, Dave, because uh, you came in the room a bit late, I noticed you hadn't been muted down. So, I've heard every single word you said about me. I shall be replying privately. Okay. Let's lie down on the beam, guys. We're going to tighten the body up, relax it, get your main music on there if you want to. I will text you when it's done. Before then, a clap from me to you. Fantastic. Well done. Let's lie down on the beam, get nicely aligned. Prepare to melt the body through the floorboards. Curl the toes up or down. Squeeze the calves, the thighs, the glutes, the bum, the butt, the abdominal area, the chest, two big fists and the hands. Screw the face up, big sweet breath in, go. Exhale, relax. And if you're listening, dive straight now. Listen to the words. 